Hey guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by the title, I am doing a video on the latest ABH collaboration. You also might be wondering what I mean by the title and I feel like I saw it a few days ago. ABH or Norvina herself tweeted out, you know, what do you want to see more of from the brand in 2020? People were like, I want to see, you know, more complexion products, another foundation, one for oily skin, deeper complexion products, especially contour, you know, bronzer, blush, all that good stuff. And then a few days later, they announced they were coming out with this collaboration and you know because we can't have anything nice in the beauty community people were like so you asked for our opinions just put out another eyeshadow palette if you guys haven't noticed ABH has put out quite a few eyeshadow palettes in the last six months something like that however you know I highly doubt that they asked that question you know what do you want to see and in the I don't know three days that passed in between they managed to whip up an eyeshadow palette you know I'm pretty sure like it was in the works but I get what people are saying there so I'm not sure if it got to that point of people saying you know like we said we want complexion products you're putting out too many eyeshadow palettes I'm not sure if the 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 feedback there got so much that it's what you know prompted this message but Norvina did tweet out that this is the last collab eyeshadow that they're coming out with until holiday 2020 something like that so you know I'm, I'm assuming they're going to release more things before holiday 2020 so hopefully those complexion products people were asking for are coming um but this one this this collab at least is what it says it's going to be the last one for a while so if you guys want to see a video on it then just stay tuned so this is the pr package for the collaboration it's pink it's glitter it's got an actual glitter texture feel to it when you open it up there's a mirror abh is good for throwing in some mirrors in their collaborations it says omrizi on the back and then of course you have the actual palette the outside has that same pink color and glitter feel and look to it and then you open it up and those are the colors that come in this palette now I believe this palette is $49 I'm not sure they don't send you know, like little brochures in the packages that say how much everything costs or stuff like that because if you guys notice there are two extra shades in this palette like here is the Jackie Ina palettes <laughs> have it readily available there if I could open it this is the Jackie Ina, ooh, Jackie Ina palette, and you see how there are an extra two shades there. So if you're wondering the, ooh, can, can you see that? Okay, let's try this again. So on the bottom is the Jackie Ina palette, and that's what the ABH palettes usually look like. That's how many shades they usually come with. And on the top is the Omra palette, so they've added two more shades. So that's the little jump in price there. So I feel like I want to redo the look that I did in my yearly wrap up video that cut crease because I got a lot of comments saying you know can you do a tutorial on this but just different colors. So I always feel like you know like once you already see it it's boring to re to see the same look be done again so I'm just going to do the same thing but with different colors. I need to figure out which colors though so I'll be right back. Let's start with this shade Yugo right in my crease. You know we're also going to see how this plays on deeper complexions because that Carly Bybel collab had people side eyeing AB, or well, they were side eyeing Carly. It was her palette, but you guys know what I mean. And then buff that out with this shade Semsa. So I'm just gonna go along, make sure you can still see though. I'm just gonna go along the edges. So I went ahead and cut my crease and it's like, come on, of course you gotta use a pink color in this look. Like, look at the palette, look at the packaging. I'm gonna take this shade Reezy as my first lid color. I actually like using the brush. Oh, okay, I keep using the palette. I actually like using the brush that comes with the palette for my, make sure I'm focused, my lid shades. Ooh, she's shimming. And then the blue shade Leo, which I'm pretty sure is the name of her husband. Yeah, I'm pretty sure his name is Leo, which if so, that's that's cute. She named a shade after him. And place that here before I start blending it out. And in the outer corner, the black shade called BK. Brooklyn? Oh yeah, she 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 black. She is black. Alright start small and then you know start building up there i wonder if i use this shade called barb of course she has a shade called barb um in the front like where my inner corner would be if it'll actually show up or just kind of blend into the other pink you know well let's find out 
Okay, um, that is not the shade I thought it was going to be. <laughs> okay, um, well, we, we did it, so we, we gonna have to work with it. I did do some swatches just in case there were any other of those duo shades where it looks one shade in the palette swatches another one when you wear it. So I have, ooh, can you see that? Yes. So I have Liddy Cupcake Dragon 1988 and New Yorker. Um, I wanted to use that shade in this look so bad, but I didn't. These kind of swatch i saw someone else mention this that they kind of work like the uh shimmers in the jackie Ina palette i feel like the shimmers in the jackie Ina palette if you guys saw my video on the patricia bright palette those shimmers or if you're used to the shoo 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 the super shock shadows from ColourPop. that's what these shimmers perform like they kind of have like that that putty type of consistency I of shimmers like that because those usually work the best there that's what the shimmers swatch and look like on the eyes and feel like this dragon shade i feel is kind of like a pressed glitter type of reaction that's giving me here 1988 is this shade right here and new yorker the one that's blending into my skin would most likely be the shade if you're my skin tone the shade that you would use as a transition color or something like that uh any of the other colored shades that i didn't use here well there's this shade anastasia Ooh. and this shade georgina okay and let's see here so anastasia y'all know i am not the person you come to if you want swatches and then georgina So for those of you who were not feeling the Carly Bybel palette, they've certainly redeemed themselves in that sense. However, I mentioned in that video that that Carly Bybel palette is the palette you would expect Carly Bybel to put out. It, it's very Carly. Just like this one, this is very Amra. This is very, like from, from the shades that are in it, to the names, to the packaging, it is very Amrezy. Like it, it's... At least these people are consistent with the palettes from Jackie to Carly to Amra. They, the, the, the palette screams them when you see it. This is no different. However, you know, this is deeper, this is deeper complexion friendlier than the Carly palette. However, I, I've mentioned before that, you know, once you try one ABH palette, you kind of try them all. Not the same with the Jackie Ina palette because like she said herself, you know, she made it with deeper complexions in mind and that is the best ABH palette you're going to get for deeper complexions on how it works. However, when I started using the Riviera palette, like somewhere around there, I mentioned that they had changed something up with their formula because Riviera wasn't performing for deeper complexions how subculture or even modern renaissance was. So I feel like, you know, there was some change there and they hadn't put out an eyeshadow palette for a while in between that space. So ever since, you know, Riviera, all the palettes they put out since then, I feel like there's been a change in ABH palettes. And I feel like this Amra palette is like those. It's like the Riviera, it's the consistency of shadow performance of Riviera and after the, like the Alyssa Edwards, all of that, that's what this is like. So it's not like the Jackie palette, that one literally was made for deeper complexions in mind. However, it's good like the other palettes they've released since Riviera, where they are deeper complexion friendlier than shadows that they've put out in the past, except maybe the Carly Bybel palette and the Norvina palettes. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like the, you guys know how Norvina has her own branch of the brand where it's Norvina and those three big palettes that they put out. I don't feel like those palettes perform the same as ABH brand palettes, but that was probably, that was probably intentional to, you know, separate and make herself different from the brand. And yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you see me test out this palette, you know, some swatches, my thoughts on it have helped. If any of you were thinking of checking it out for yourself, I never got to try the original one. So, you know, uh, kind of cool that I can try this one out years, years later. God, that. That first Amra palette was years ago. Um, congratulations to her on her collaboration. And yeah, so make sure to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe down below. Thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next one.